So we're ready for our warm up for uh, the workout today. Um, we will start with just some breathing, okay, which is the foundation and component for everything that we will do. So first, one or two hands on your belly and let's breathe in deeply through your nose and make sure your belly is extending. If you can't feel your belly moving with the air, you're stopping too high in your lungs. So let's just take three or four deep breaths. Can you feel your belly moving? Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. That's step one. Now let's take our fingers, uh, thumbs back here, four fingers here. And when you take that deep breath, can you feel it also in the back side? Do you feel your whole torso expand? Nice deep breaths. And you may have to work at this if you're not used to it. Uh, Amy's a, an expert at this, but if you're new to it, just work on it. Work on trying to get that breath back there. And as you do that, let's make sure our shoulders are nice and relaxed and that we are not straining or stressing or compressing or clenching. Um, just get ready for your workout. Okay, so keep that breathing in mind, all right? Let's um, grab our stick, okay? okay? And we're gonna hold that stick nice and wide. Okay, and I'll kind of stand to the side here. And we're just gonna easily go back to front. If you don't move quite that smoothly, or if it sticks or hurts or strains somewhere, then spend a few seconds in that spot, wherever it is for you. Otherwise, inhale in one direction, exhale as you go back. And again, relax those shoulders. If it's hard to get around, you can make your grip wider. It'll make it a little easier if it's if it's you're not feeling a stretch at all or any kind of warm up. You can make your grip a little narrower and see what that does. But at no point should it be painful. Okay, very good. Let's take this same stick and turn it into a figure eight motion. So go behind and then forward just three or four times. Nice and smooth, not jerky, and let's switch directions. Very good. And then let's put the stick on our back, arms here, and stand nice and tall. Um, have that little natural curve in your back, in your spine. Um, as you can see, Amy has right there. Very good. Keep hip, uh, feet about hip widths apart. And let's just try to do, without turning the hips, see if we can turn. Ooh, without turning my hips. Yeah, if you can. At this point, especially in our warm up, don't force it. Just sort of take note of how far you can go. It may not be 180, that's okay. It might not be 180 after the workout or next week or ever. Just take note of where you are and what it feels like and try to keep those hips stable. So we're warming up the core and getting a little thoracic movement in there. Very good, very good. Okay, let's take the stick out front, arms length away, step away from it, okay? And we turn the other way sure. so that we can sit, okay? And we're going to stick the hips back first. We're gonna work on that hip hinge. And you see she has a nice straight spine except for the natural curve right there and just kind of let your head fall in between the arms so your ears are right in between your biceps. You should feel that in the hamstrings, in the back, in the lats. Mm -hmm. uh, straighten the out above. those arms and you can take the stick sort of side to side. Again, slow movements. And you can feel this all the way down the side of the torso where everything connects to the hips, down into the hamstrings. Very good. And you can kind of hang out here for a couple of more deep breaths. Very good. That nudges into lots of places. Yeah, it's a place you could stay for quite a while. Feels actually. great. All right, very good. Um, you can always pause the video and uh, stay there longer if you'd like. <laughs> okay. All right, next we're going to grab whatever kind of riser you might have, a step stool, or if you have an exercise step, um, 
we are just going to start to elevate the core temperature a little bit and get us ready for a little quicker movement. So we're gonna do about eight times up and down with the right foot fairly quickly. Just step up, step down. We're not running, we're not hopping, just a steady pace, okay? Start to get your core temperature to rise a little bit. And after you've done about eight of those, we'll switch to the left foot. Very good. Uh, I didn't count. <laughs> and try not to, Amy's doing a good job of keeping her whole foot on there, but make sure you're not hanging off. You're just stepping on your toes and letting your heel come down. So sorry to interrupt your flow there. <laughs> All right. Um, then we're going to just put our right foot up onto the riser. And now we're going to go a little slower and get into some movement. Okay. So Amy has a really great range of motion and she can get her knee quite a ways in front of, thank you, of her ankle, which is great for here, okay? A lot of people can't do that. I'm one of those people, but get into it wherever you can. Just spend a few seconds each time there. Very good, very good. And when you're done with that leg, let's keep the foot up there. Elev um, pull your toes back, and you're gonna try to take your bottom rib towards your thigh. And again, we're not rounding the spine. And you don't wanna really lock out the knee. It doesn't need to be bent, but it doesn't need to be locked stiff either. Just a little softness. And again, um, go wherever this feels good to you. I want you to feel a stretch, but no pain, no burning. Therapeutic. Um, therapeutic Therapeute. is, is the goal, okay? Right there, and sort of breathe into it and then come up slowly and we'll switch legs. So other foot's gonna go up, get into your glutes and hands and knee mobility and, and this ankle mobility is really gonna help us when we do some squats later. Very good, great. And just a few of those and then you're gonna do the same straight leg hamstring stretch, pull the toes back bend down from the hip we're not rounding through the spine and breathe into that and if it feels good you could also point and flex the ankle definitely need more of this in my life yeah this is this is good great great okay. great all right um can grab our sticks again and now that we started to make the fascia a little more pliable in front of the ankle and hips and knees. Um, we can get a little deeper into that stretch. So I like to use this for balance. If you can do it without, great. But put one foot behind, knuckles of the toes down, and then just drop that ankle joint as low as you can. You can kind of circle it around a little bit. Wherever it feels like it needs some love, go to that place. Uh, don't force it. Again, therapeutic. How's that feel? Therapeutic. Thera <laughs> <laughs> Quite. My, my ankles feel very therapeutic. Uh, yeah, this is a tough spot for me, and I think for a lot of people. Um, why do we get so stiff there? Uh, too much sitting. Not for you, probably, but for a lot of people. Um, switch, switch sides, yeah. And just spend some time there. If this is a really tough area for you, you can always spend longer here, as with any of these warm-up exercises. Very good. That does feel pretty terrific. Good, okay. All right, um, we can set our stick aside and we will begin squats. And That's remember true. that the very first movement for squats is the hip, even though we tend to see the knee bend. That's what we see when we think squat, but your hips move first. So we're just doing super mini squats at first. So we're just going to do about five, just, just little mini squats. Okay. Just sticking the rear end out. Knees bend as a result of our hips going back. Our knees don't bend. They are not the primary mover. Okay. And then if you'd like, and you have your chair right behind you, just go down and tap the chair. If that's too far, you could put a yoga block on there or a book or something, but give yourself a reference point to see how far you're getting. Okay, very good. You can move away from the chair and see if you can go a little lower. And at some point, there's gonna be a, a time where it doesn't feel great to go lower, okay? Then don't go lower. Amy's doing great there. 
And on the last few, if you could do that deepest one that feels good right now, come up on your toes. And down and up on your toes. Excellent. Just do a couple of more of those. Wonderful. All right, your body is ready for some challenging movement. Very good, great job on the, on the warm up. All right, we're gonna take Amy through a Maintain Your Gains full body workout. Um, this workout is structured, uh, we have eight exercises and they're in pairs. So we will pick two exercises and flip flop them for two sets, go on to the next two exercises flip-flop those for the two sets, okay? Um, so our first set is going to be squats and bird dogs, okay? okay? And we are not going to go for a certain number of reps because, frankly, that's a little silly. We're going to go for quality and how many reps you can get done in 30 seconds. It's not a race. It's not a competition. It is just a time frame for you to work within. Okay. Um, and that's a reasonable amount of time to challenge your body. Um, as you get better at this, if you do this workout many times, you'll probably find you do more reps in the 30 seconds, but there's never a goal of you need to reach 20 reps. Um, it's all about quality, okay? okay. Um, so our first two exercises will be squats and bird dogs. I'm gonna do 30 seconds of each. Um, so our squats are going to be our first set. We're gonna try to tap the rear to the chair. So okay. that may allow you to go fairly quickly. Okay, Is so my 30 seconds starting now. Your 30 <laughs> seconds are starting right now. Very good. And remember to breathe and eyes up. Yes, very good. And even though we don't have weight or resistance, uh, body weight over 30 seconds can be challenging. Very good. Yes, You've got about can. 10 more seconds. <laughs> okay. 10 more seconds. Very good. Good, good. And let's call that good. Okay. All right, let's go down on all fours. And in your burn dog, why don't we slide our right fingertips to the front of the mat and our left toes to the back of the mat and now lift up. Here we go. We're gonna to try to hold here for 30 seconds. Um, try not to rotate that lifted leg hip up. Reach from fingertips all the way down to your toes. Nice, long, straight core. Breathe, and you don't want to look up necessarily or look down. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine, and very good, let's set those down and let's go for the other side. Let's slide fingertips and toes and lift. Very good. And the reason I like to flip-flop the exercises is because instead of resting in between sets of squats, we can get something else done and still be resting from the squats, but challenging our core. And Amy, is this not one of your favorite core exercises? I love this one. Okay, so and good. all right, good. There's 30 seconds and we're gonna stand back up. And I like going up and down as well. It gives us practice getting up and down from the floor. Am I starting? Um, are you starting no, we seconds? are going to either do tap on the chair or if you would rather go deeper for this set, you can. So we have three 30 second um, stints with the squats here. You can keep it all at the same level. Keep going. If you would like to add a band for resistance, if you would like to go quicker, that's fine. You can also go right here if you wanna go deeper. Okay, very good. And all right, let's go back to bird dogs and exact same thing here. Okay, right fingers, left, very good. And she's nice and steady. Very good, very good. Um, if it doesn't feel great to you, you can get your phone out and film yourself just to make sure that that lifted leg is not tilting up toward the ceiling. Very good, keep reaching, keep reaching. Very good, breathe. And make sure you're not dumping too much weight into the wrist on the floor or the knee on the floor. So try to sort of distribute everything through the core and let's set it down and switch sides. 
and I'll sort of, uh, while she's doing her 30 seconds, preface the last set of squats can be any level you want. If you want to take it up just a little notch, we're going to either come up on heels or do a slight hop. We have about five seconds left in her bird dog. She holds it so steady and makes it look easy and it's not that easy, I know that. All right, return and up. And our last 30 seconds will either be deep quick squats or we can come up on heels or you could do a little hop if you'd like. I'm gonna just or do the heels today. That, and that is fine. Or you can do a combination of the two. You can do every other one. This is sort of whatever feels right for you today, okay? All right, very good. We made it through the first set, okay? Um, second set, we're gonna need a band. And if you have two different um, strengths or resistances of bands, keep those handy. Um, we can use the light one for the first, first time through. So our two exercises are going to be bent rows and a variation of a deadlift, which is for our, kind of our back chain muscles, glutes and hamstrings. Um, so we're gonna use our, our hip hinge here. So the bent rows. You wanna start with those? Um, yes, let's start with the bent rows. So we're gonna start with a single arm bent row first. This is, might sound a little confusing, but step on the band with your left foot and grab the band in your right hand. You have a nice long distance between the feet and let's support the upper body weight with an elbow on the knee, okay? And then Amy's gonna pull up, hold it up there. We're gonna pause okay. and back down. And she's gonna start 30 seconds right now, okay? So a little pause and actually squeeze the elbow kind of back towards your spine when you get up there. Just a little pause and then go back down pretty slowly. In other words, we don't want to be kind of jerky, okay? Nice and controlled. Do you want me to squeeze at my shoulder blades? Yes, yeah, squeeze at your shoulder blades, yes. All right, let's switch sides. So step on it with your right and hold it in your left. If you want more resistance, of course, have less band in your hand. If you want less resistance, have more band. Very good. Yep, nice. So she's squeezing here, bringing shoulder blades together. Keep that elbow nice and high, and then it kind of rounds back towards your spine. Very good. And your core is engaged. Your spine is nice and strong and very good. Okay. Let's stand on the band with both feet. Okay. And I'll sort of stand here so you can see sideways. All right. Stand up nice and tall. Again, the hip hinge. Hip's going to go back first. Curve in the spine. Lower slowly and back up nice all the way straight very good keep going so a lot of hip movement and very little knee movement knees just stay soft slow on the down and quick on the up or does it matter um even about even pace on this but you would want to not have much knee bend so knee angle stays about the same so we're doing a lot of moving her hips are coming way back here and then going forward very good very good okay let's go for our second set of rows for the upper body and we can actually keep both you can you can do one arm or on the second set if you would like to do a two arm row stand on the band go into that hip hinge position hips back little curve in the spine here. And we're just gonna go two hands at once, squeeze, elbows together, back down. So hips, uh, feet about hip width apart, back down. Bring it up and hold, back down slowly. Okay, keep going. Very good. Just a little more resistance and really squeezing together right here between the shoulder blades, excellent. Very good, and good, okay. Set two, done, wow. very good. Wow, okay, cool. Doing great, okay. Uh, next, we're gonna use our step stool. Um, we're gonna do the raised lunges, and one of my all-time favorite moves, we're gonna need our band. Um, probably your more, 
your uh, bandwidth more resistance, but you can use either one. So we're gonna do the raised lunges, and our second movement is going to be what I have dubbed the junior high dance. So you're gonna <laughs> stand here, and you're gonna step side to side, just like junior high boys used to dance <laughs> at the dance. Love but it. it's an awesome move uh, for our hips here and it gets us moving in different directions. So we're going to start with the um, raised lunges. So we're going to do four on the right leg, okay? And I want you to sort of push off and step back, Ooh. okay? And yep, if you can, you could try to balance and lift the knee or you can tap down, whatever works. Four on each leg, okay? Very good. That works your core, works your balance. Excellent. Four on the left leg. Good. Is one side easier or harder than the other? Um, feels pretty similar. Good. For me. And then we're gonna go two each leg. Okay, keep going with the lunges. Two. Good. I guess maybe this side, I feel like I lose my balance. Two more. on the other side. Good. And now let's do eight alternating. Okay. Oh. So eight. Yep, let's go and get your heart rate up a little bit. Good. Six, five, good. Four, three, three. good. Nice. And I would say All right. make sure you find your stability with every single one. Yeah. Speed is stability over speed. Yes. Right. Good point, and good point. Done. Okay, <laughs> you are good. All right, let's go to the dance. Stand on your band and give yourself some room on either side. And we're gonna do that same pattern. We're gonna go four to the right and four to the left. And now oh, that two. Really, that really does get the two the other way. Sides of the hips. And now let's do eight alternating. Two, can I three. Add a group you to you it? can add, <laughs> add a little bit. Very good. Excellent. Woo. Okay, I'm done. good. All right. And Going through that again. So, okay. four. Sure you have a really stable riser. So. Okay. Yeah. Four One. on each side. And we do not need to go quickly. Okay. Three. Amy's pretty good at these. If you're newer at these, please go slower. That's fine. Can you get the same benefits if you used your. Um, your stick? Your stick. You could, yes, as long as, you know, you're not. Leaning into Leaning it. Leaning into it. Just like that, just in case I need it kind of thing. Yep. And I am a person who prefers this. When If I was doing this, I would probably use a stick. I just like it for... Okay, eight? Yes. Uh, and then eight alternating, yes. I like to have the stick just for... It makes my brain feel safer. <laughs> Even if I don't use it, I, I feel better with it. So definitely an option. Okay. And when you're done with those eight... Heart rate might be up a little. Eight. Yes. We are not in a dangerous <laughs> spot by any means. Okay, and we'll junior high dance again. Four right, four left. Very good. And you can kind of try to push that leg out a little more. Keep a slight bend in your knee. Don't keep a two and two. And then eight alternating, very good. Okay. Okay. Keep Ooh. your band near your mat. We'll use it for the next one. Okay. Um, we're going to work a yoga block push-up. So yoga block can be here or here or possibly here if you need the height. Okay. <laughs> try the height. Okay. First. And that is fine. All and right. We'll so see if I can go to the next one. Is this we're going to do push-ups on your knees, and that is that is just fine. And we are trying to bring. The rib cage down to, yes, perfect, down to the block. If you can put the block on its lower level and do that, great. But you stay where it feels safe, comfortable, and like you're getting work done, not like you're straining and struggling to get there. Very good, very good. Go about five more seconds. Excellent. Good. All right, and we're going to stand up. Again, by design, having you get on the floor and get back up because it's a skill we'd like to keep, isn't it? Yep. You know? All right. So we're going to take the band overhead. And again, you can adjust by gripping closer. Okay. Up here, shoulders down, out of your ears. And you're going to pull down 
behind your head. You don't need to have straight arms and go back up very slowly. Okay, so if you could go down and then slow, slow, slow back. Pull it down. Very good. Okay. And you're working your lats, so pulling down here. Very good. I'm just watching out for the ribs aren't poking out. The ribs stay locked down. Yes. Um, yeah. Thank you for that's that. A, that's a common thing I see people do yeah, who are we don't, beginners. Um, and a slight bend in the knee, just a little softness. It kind of helps keep that natural curve in the spine as well. Oh, it feels better too. Yeah. Yeah, that's an important stance point. I like that. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the yoga block push-up. If for some reason the first one was extremely hard or extremely easy you can change the height of that block but we'll go 30 seconds here and also focus on elbows going back so the crease of her elbows is going to face towards me and elbows are going to go straight back so you're going to feel a little more in the triceps than some other variations of the push-up let's go a few more Ooh, very good <laughs> one more one more Excellent. All right. And we'll go back to our lat pull downs. Um, adjust the band if you need it to be a little tougher or a little easier. Pull out wide and here. And again, a little slight bend in the knee. Okay. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and back. At the gym, sometimes on the lat pull down machine, you'll see people doing this. This band workout is far more effective than that. If you're controlling the return to the top of the position. Very good. A couple more. Excellent. Okay. All right. We've completed our four pairs of exercises beautifully, I might add. Yeah, Very good. <laughs> um, the next part of the workout is optional. I call it the optional lightning round. Um, I have five movements um, designed to do as quickly as you can safely. Okay. Um, and we'll do them in, in succession, 30 seconds of each without stopping. Uh, might challenge your cardiovascular system a little bit, but it's only two and a half minutes, okay? Um, if you feel like doing this today, great. If you wanna skip it, that's great too. If you're ever super short on time, you could just do this part. That would work too, okay? Let's go. Let's start with our band punches starting now. Very good. Okay, very good. Get it all the way out there. Even a little slight rotation, okay? So you've completed some great strength exercises, some different mobility exercises, and this can kind of top it all off for you for the day. All right, very good. Drop the band. Let's go straight to the squats, either to a heel raise or a little hop, whatever you please. 30 seconds here. Very good. And it is the end of the day, end of the workout for you. Very nice. Very nice. Keep going. About halfway through there. If you feel like mixing it up to heel raises, hops, speed squats, whatever you want to do is fine. Okay, about three more seconds, two, and let's place your block down for the hand walkovers and place it the long way. Okay, very good. Here we go. Great. And the goal here being not keep the hips too high. Hers are great. And this on my knees if I wanted to. Um, you could. <laughs> Yes, you could. Okay. All right, very good. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. 10 it's, seconds. It is. Okay, very good, very good. Nice, yep, work on keeping those hips stable too. Very good, all right, up you go. Um, and now, whatever version of speed skaters you want. If you wanna hop, great. If you just wanna step touch, if you want to Step and hold a knee, step and hold a knee, or any combination that you feel like doing there. Very nice. Just good to get some lateral movement in. So many of the things we do, five more seconds, are linear. We walk, we swim, we bike, we elliptical. Very good. Okay, and last one are the feet. Okay, so the feet are gonna walk over and back. Last one. You're doing great, Amy. You're all doing great too at home. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. 
And this challenges your brain a little bit, yes. as well as your body. Um, you can't necessarily see the block. You've got to feel it. Um, I cheat and look back there all the time, but good, good for our brains to do the movement with the lower half as well. Five more Oops. seconds. Very good. Three, two, and one. You can come down Ooh. to your knees and take a seat. My core. Oh, nice. <laughs> really good. Great job, everyone. Great job. Okay. Okay. Cool down. Cool down after that workout. Uh, very good. We just don't want to walk away. If you're like me, maybe you too. When I'm done with the hard part, I'm done. I shut it off. I walk out to get my water or whatever. But if you have just three to four minutes, it'd be really great if we could do a little cool down here. Okay. So let's uh, go down onto our bellies. And let's put elbows in and lift chest up and kind of dig your elbows in and pull yourself forward. Just get a great belly stretch in there. That's good. Kind of go side to side. Very good. Nice. And let's go all the way down and take your arms out into a T if you have room to do that here. Yep. Straight out. Okay and roll over onto your left side and keep that arm out behind you. You can do whatever you want with the front one or the front leg, trying to just stretch out pecs, chest. Very good. Uh, neck, excellent, excellent. All right, slowly return to the belly and let's go out to the other side, roll up on the other hip, wherever you want the leg and opposite arm, uh, whatever feels good to you. Very good. Nice. All right, let's roll all the way over onto our backs. Um, let's give your knees both a nice big hug. So when you give the knees a hug, let the shoulders melt down into the mat. Try not to clench up yet. We'll get to that in a minute. Just breathe, pull them in, relax everything. You did a lot of work. And that, yes. even though, uh, yeah, those last two and a half minutes sort of are challenging, but great little challenge for your day. Very good, very good. All right, let's plant both feet on the mat, kind of wide, as wide as the mat, and let's windshield wiper legs side to side. You don't need to touch the ground. Wherever they get to, they get to, okay? We're not forcing anything. Hopefully you feel a little looser than when you started 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Very good, very good. All right, let's just grab left knee into the chest and straighten the right leg. So when the right leg is straight, hopefully you're feeling in the hip flexors here, a little stretch, okay? And let's take that left leg uh, straight up to the ceiling and pull it in for a hamstring stretch and gently pull, okay? Not anything stressful or straining again therapeutic um, rotate the ankles very nice okay and let's switch legs let's grab right knee into the chest left legs down straight good good how do you feel amy ah, good good yeah i'm still sweating a little <laughs> legs straight up and just pull it in till you feel a little tension on the hamstring rotate Loosen up the ankles, very good. And let's just take both legs out straight. Let's take your arms overhead. And we're going to clench up everything. Clench your fists, flex your feet, squeeze your glutes, squeeze every muscle in your body and hold it really tight for three, two, and just let it go. Very good. Love. We're gonna try that again. Let's clench everything. Let your back curve up off the floor. Let your glutes tighten up, your shoulders tighten up. Everything that happens to us during a day sometimes, I feel like. And release it, let go. Very good, 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 good. Let all of that tension go. All right, let's um, go um, into, we're gonna get you back to standing. Um, so let's 
get back to a standing position. Or let's go seated. I'm sorry. I lied. Let's okay. go seated. Let's do one twist. Um, right leg out straight uh, left and left foot over the top. Yep. And let's turn towards the crossed leg. So twist back to wherever feels not too uncomfortable. Okay. Breathe. Sit up nice and tall. Take your gaze where you want your body to go. And let's switch sides. Nice. And slowly go back there. Really great tall posture and even enhanced by the bun. I don't have a bun. <laughs> <laughs> but but nice, nice and tall through the spine. Very good. All right. And the last thing we're going to do is return to standing. And let's grab our stick again and if you don't want to use the stick arms would be fine as well okay take a nice breath in and let's see if we can hips do face. one yep hips facing mine are turning a little um and see if that feels a little looser than it did when we started hopefully your range of motion is not drastically different but Slightly better. It feels more comfortable. Slightly better, yes. Less restrictive. And we'll yeah, just do a couple of those. Move my hips with, with it once or twice. It okay. Good. Very oh, good. Moving. All right. That is a very effective full body workout for you. Great job. Thank you for joining us. Um, and I hope you feel great.